Oh, David. Yes. I'm, I'm oh, sorry, David's got one. David. Oh. <laughs> um, stand apart from our coaching meetings. We're always encouraged to take a standard neutral grip for your collar. But this is fine for Jay and me because I'm short. And the face slightly smaller. But if I was to go and take a big one. Is this the right set and grip for him and for me, or would it be better if we adjusted our grip? Would he want to go more even like that? Up there. So maybe we should go and discuss grips with different sizes and shapes, etc. Your grip should stay shoulder like. Okay. So that's the question. What do you think? Thank you. Well, I Thank you, David. Thank, Thank you, Harry. Through. Thank you. Anybody have any uh, ideas on, the, on that? Yeah, you, you, um, my grip, so if he's up here, my grip shouldn't be higher than my shoulder, here. So if he's a really big tall guy, this is my grip in position, not trying to stretch up here. I'm not going to bend it down because that would be big me. I should be up here and work inside. Any other comments? Well, this good way around and the... Uh... You know, the small one, but the tall one. So if he's the tall one, he, yeah. can, he, he would be, no doubt, over the top and take yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, he has that advantage. I mustn't allow him to, to, to yeah. go over the top. Yeah. I've got to stop that. Myra? Yeah, so there's not much difference in our size, but when we used to compete, I used to always try and keep my hand low, because as soon as somebody lifted it up, that was it. As soon as you got my arm up, we used to grapple over that because I kept that there. Before we used to try and get my hand up, and once you got it up, I was on the balance technique. Because I was reaching. Maybe bring them to the same height, same shoulder size. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even say it's a little bit ago. Drop it down, it's the same. And then he went into a couple of weeks. Um, I would say a couple of things. One of the things is, Depends which techniques you do. Depends which techniques you do. And usually, you're, e you, you're either, sm I'm small, okay? So I'm usually uh, practicing or fighting against taller ones, usually, especially in practice. So you tend to develop techniques linked to your side you tend to do. Uh, if you're taller, tallish, you tend to practice with well, smaller ones or, or same size, so you tend to develop your techniques, yeah, again, to what to, d depending on your size, yeah, is that, do, do you agree with me, that, you know, probably, probably you used to do all the all the go to matter to also talk, whereas uh, Anne maybe was more Sewinagi, uh, Moira probably more Harai, I mean, that's way good, I'm more Sewinagi, I'm not sure about Louise because you're sort of in, you've got good strength, I don't know, maybe it's how I maybe it's the win again, I don't know. How I yeah, so probably you you probably don't do see win again, do you? No. no. So so it does depend on your grip, you know. Um, but I would say if anybody's gripping here, then it's a waste of time. Yeah. I always say, um clavic uh, color collarbone, color color yeah, collarbone. <laughs> That's more or less where collarbone. Yeah? So mm. collarbone. If I go here, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be controlling much because grip is not just about uh, attacking, it's also about controlling. We saw some movement this morning. So uh, it's also about controlling, it's also about, it's about having using this um, weight on my pattern. If I'm down here, then I can't control my really? partner. If nothing there, whereas here, I've got a bit more chance of starting to control the partner's balance. Yeah? So, I usually say color, color grip. There are very tall people who will then natu naturally hold here, which for me is fair enough, you know, here. It, it, it's a 
pity when we could get into stuff like into stuff like this because it, you know, for, for kids. But really tall ones here and using this kind of grip and balance. You know, we say we sometimes say never lift the elbow, but you know, even in even stuff like on Soto, breaking the balance. Uchimata. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Taller people. So depends, you know, if you're extremely tall, but I would say, David, because uh, this hand, you know, is important for keeping the distance, controlling, this <laughs> hand is very important here. Where if it's, if it's round here, except for pulling the head down, okay, we can do that. But except for that, it's not that useful. And also down here is not that useful either. Whereas here, you know, Nathan's small guy, he's here, isn't he? He's collar. He's a collar guy, and then from there he can go to his silly name. Yeah, I prefer to go down as well. I, I, where I'm holding the head, right. I prefer to come over as well. Yeah. I'm here. And a lot of my contesters are one from there. Yeah. I mean, so, yes, that's a natural grip, and that's a super, super grip. But from here, I've come over, and I've gripped. Now from there, I'm right in for my throws. But I've got a deep grip down the back there, and that's really suited me. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean it's not for everyone, is it? Well, uh, again. It, it, I think it's why it's not a, a, a number of different grips. I think in competition, well, I wouldn't agree with that. I would say, you know, you, if you look at the top players, they have their grip, they don't change it a lot, really. But anyway, I'll, again, anyway. We, I'm thinking developing uh, kids and players, okay? And for me, getting this grip, first of all, if you're doing randori like this, then you're not taking any risk at all. You're getting this arm over, you're blocking this person as much as possible. And for me, that's not what randori is about. Competition is different. Randor is about letting the partner attack as well. See if you're able to counter, see if you're able to escape. Getting used to attacked. How many times you see people who do randori like that and they get attacked? It looks like a weak attack. They've never been attacked before. They just go all over there and they've not So it depends what we're talking about. But for me, I believe in uh, this. All this, don't get me wrong, doesn't have to be here if you're really tall here. But because from here we can we can do lots of things. As I said, we can control. Yeah, you know, can open it up for Uchimata or an Uche, moving like This grip for me is the most uh, versatile, useful grip there is. And especially in Randori, okay? Then if you want to grow this in competition, well, do that by, by, by all means. But for practicing, and then, and then again, if you, you know, in Randori, if you've got somebody who's weaker, and they're just standing like this and getting thrown for five minutes, then it's not really that good for them, is it? You know, they're not learning much except to how to survive, maybe or not. Anyway, that's my personal, well, and a lot of experience. So, David probably didn't answer your question, but it helped. It helped. Good. I think, I think it does help because they're the last one here. Because I just always held it because I was always a lot taller. Mm. And when Mrs. Takata came over, he was a tall man. And I thought, thank God for that. You know, that most people were sm that we've had in the past have always been small. Mm. And suddenly my judo changed completely for the better um, because I was able to hold up there. Mm. So I think now we're giving people the choice. I've been able to go down here mm. or up there, depending on uh, what's best for them. Mm. You know, and their attention mm. mm. and the size. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, let's try that then. So I'll, I'll get a. Let's let's try this. So from here, okay, we can go from a hajime position. Okay, it's those, okay, hajime. Immediately, just two hands on and, can you see what's happening to him already? Let's go again. So look, we're starting on here, and this dark green. 
Okay, from here. How do you make Look at what's happened. What's happened to him? He's gone back. What does it mean when you're going back? It, you're in more difficulty when you're going back. So I've just, as Boz mentioned earlier, Judo is about... Um, uh, no, no, remember my uh, uh, catching the time, time. Chasing, yeah, catching the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like being one step ahead. Yeah. yeah. So if I can start like this, then I've got one step ahead. He's not just concentrating on getting the grip. He's concentrating on getting his balance, not being pushed out of the area if he's in a competition situation. Okay, and then from there, don't make it too competitive, just to feel from there. Okay, so from here, grip, and then try this. Pushing, releasing, pushing, releasing. Pushing, releasing, pushing, releasing, pulling, moving, pushing. Come on, go. Retiring, don't go too fast. 